Now that we've got the hello world out of the way, let's talk a little bit about our learning approach. I think this is really important, and I know I'm going to drive this point home a lot in this course, so uh, bear with me. I think that it's very important to do our learning approach because we have to consider the why. Why are we jumping into Vue? And that's the question I get from a lot of people that are going from plain old JavaScript or jQuery into one of the JavaScript frameworks or libraries like Vue, React, Angular is why do I need something this much more than what I was already doing? Everything I was doing in jQuery was just fine. We're gonna take a beginner's approach as if you were coming from vanilla JavaScript. And throughout this course, we'll talk about why you would want to upgrade to something like Vue or Angular or React. Well, Vue in this case. We actually did a survey on the site a while back and we asked for what is your current JavaScript experience? And most of you said jQuery and vanilla JavaScript was it. And only a few of you had been using the AngularJS, React, or Angular, which is V2+. And also when asked about your level of JavaScript, most of you were right in the middle, medium sort of experience. So I think that that kind of says a lot about our current landscape of JavaScript developers. A lot of us are JavaScript or jQuery developers working on applications, websites, all that good stuff. And now we want to get into a little bit more advanced applications and start using a library that kind of hides back all of the redundant tasks that we don't really need to see in our applications. And we saw that in the hello world when we were doing query selector, query selector, and just grabbing different things from the DOM. With our JavaScript libraries like Vue, we don't really have to do any of that. Vue just knows, hey, we're going to bind to this variable wherever it is. So there's none of that code where we grab and listen for events or anything like that. It's all kind of hidden behind the scenes, which is really great, and it simplifies our code a lot. With all of these surveys and all that information out of the way, we're going to treat Vue as if this was your first JS framework. And this is a good approach, I think, because we're going to do a lot of work where we start in JavaScript and we kind of see how scaling that doesn't really scale well. And then we'll move into Vue and we'll see how Vue solves those problems. This is how we're going to drive home the point of why you would want to use Vue. And in moving to Vue, you have probably started to see the JavaScript ecosystem at its whole and how it's been moving in the last couple years. The current state of JavaScript is a lot of people are starting to use Node and NPM like we did for Light Server. And that's not even if you're writing Node applications. Node is a great tool, especially NPM, Node Package Manager, to bring in the packages we need. So you see a lot of NPM and a lot of Node in the current JavaScript applications. Everything right now is considered a package. And this is a great thing because it keeps our applications modular and we can just bring in the things that we need here and there. Notice we installed Vue from a script tag and we added jQuery from a script tag. We could also use NPM to bring down those packages and use those in our application. We would just do NPM install jQuery or NPM install Vue. You've probably seen that the state of JavaScript applications in the past few years has been upgraded to the new version of JavaScript, which is ES6, ECMAScript 6 is what it's called. So you start to see little differences in the syntax for JavaScript applications. Notice in our hello world, we use some const instead of var. We use the ES6 arrow functions and we use the ES6 implicit return where we one line that jQuery line. And you've also probably seen in the JavaScript world, transpilers. And that's like Babel, 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 one of the two, and TypeScript, where you can take ES6 code and compile it down to ES5 code so that our browsers can understand it. And that's because some browsers don't fully support ES6 syntax just yet. And then also we have module loaders and task runners. And the state of JavaScript right now is booming. And JavaScript has taken the world by storm. Lots of great tools. But that can also lead to a little bit of confusion when you're learning JavaScript. And I, I totally understand that. The JavaScript world has been moving lightning fast, which is great. But also, that learning curve is hard to get by. This is one of the reasons why Vue is a really, really great tool for a lot of people is because with Vue, you don't really need to know all of these things. With Vue, you can start with your current tool set of JavaScript, add in Vue, and start using Vue. And then as you start to grow your JavaScript repertoire, your tool set, you can start to add NPM and Node. You can start to add more packages, ES6, transpilers, and all that good stuff. In this course, in this getting started course, we're not even gonna deal with any of those actually. Well, we did Node and NPM for that 
light server, but the rest we're not going to deal with in this course, which is really why Vue is great because you can just drop it in with a script tag and start working right away. So in the JavaScript framework land, you might be wondering where Vue sits. Why would you use Vue versus React or Angular? Well, in the JavaScript framework land, on the far left side, we have frameworks that do less for you and frameworks that do more for you on the far right. So we have React on the left side, which is very much a Vue library and can attach itself to your views and start building out really great applications. In the middle, we have Vue, which can span all the way down to the left and all the way down to the right. React can actually do the same. And on the right side, we have Angular V2 Plus. It's more of a full framework. It's got all the bells and whistles and can get you single page applications very quickly. So this goes back to one of our previous slides, why use Vue, right? We have simplicity, easy to jump from HTML, CSS, JavaScript, since we don't need all those bells and whistles. Incrementally adoptable, which is the key point here, super fast, lightweight, and really, really fun to use. So to round out this lesson, Let's, let's talk about JavaScript applications in general and what we're going to be doing and why we want to use Vue. What exactly is a JavaScript application? Well, at its core, what we just did in our Hello World, we defined some things, which is our DOM elements, our inputs. We showed some things, which is that text, and then we listened for events. We did that in plain JavaScript, we did that in jQuery, and we did that in Vue. But the cool thing is Vue hid a lot of that small syntax behind the scenes so that we didn't have to deal with it. So moving forward, our course is going to be plain JavaScript versus Vue. And we'll see how scaling from JavaScript to Vue really helps our applications out.